All right, let's take a look at uh, problem eight. Uh, so problem eight will be similar to problem seven, uh, only here we're gonna be asked to use the Lee Kessler method. Um, and so just uh, essentially a little uh, recap here of taking notes of, of how we're gonna take this. Um, so with Lee Kessler, remember the idea is I need to look up TC, <coughs> PC, and omega uh, for my system of interest. And then if I know the temperature and pressure of interest, I can again use that using my um, Lee Kessler tables, which we'll look at um, in um, Smith Abbott of Adness in, in just a second. I can get Z if I need it, along with HR and SR. Okay, and then general idea of using the tables is you need uh, reduced coordinates. Okay, so what's going to happen? Uh, so reduced coordinates is that if I know TR, which is T over TC, and I know PR, which is P over PC, okay, um, then I can use that to find, um, so for the case of HR, Z, and SR, they're all the same, uh, Z naught and then Z1, okay, and then the idea being that Z is equal to Z naught plus omega Z1. Right, but Z0 and Z1 are just functions of my reduced coordinates. Okay, um, and so this is uh, uh, the appendix from our book, which is still up from the last problem. Then here's Smith Abbott and Van Ness, um, which you can download from uh, the Canvas page. Okay, so here's our tables for Z0. Okay, then you see we have tables for um, HR as well. Okay, so here's an HR0, and then there's uh, HR1. Okay. Notice here it's HR not over RTC. Um, so the general idea is RT has units of energy, so H over RT is dimensionless. Okay. Um, so you would you know go ahead and calculate um, you know HR not divided by RTC, um, HR one uh, divided by RTC. Um, you know R is just your molar gas constant. Uh, I know that. Um, TC is my critical temperature, and so you can get you know HR not and HR not HR not and HR one, um, um, or you can you know combine that to get um, HR over RTC. But you know regardless, you know R and TC, so you can get HR not HR one, or if you do your math with that, you can eventually you know if you get HR over RTC, you can convert it to um, just HR. Okay, but you know, same tables. Uh, you need to know your reduced temperature and reduced pressure, um, and then read from from the table. Okay, so this could be uh, super similar to uh, the last problem. Um, and then again, the note. So that's how we'll get uh, residual properties. Okay, if I want to get okay, just for completeness, right? So HR um, is equal to ah. HR would be, you know, HR naught plus omega HR1, okay? SR would be SR naught plus omega SR1, right? Okay, where, you know, Z naught, HR naught, ZR naught, Z1, HR1, SR naught, SR1 are all just functions of um, reduced coordinates, okay? And then in terms of the ideal gas, um, term. Let me just right over here. So my actual property is going to be residual plus ideal gas. Remember, DH ideal gas is just CP ideal gas uh, DT. So if I need to get you know delta H uh, ideal gas and going from some you know reference state to uh, final state, that's just integral from T naught to T one CP ideal gas DT. For entropy, ds ideal gas is cp ideal gas over t dt minus r over p dp. Okay, so delta s and going from some state naught to state one would be integral from t naught to t one cp ideal gas over t dt minus r over p integral from P naught to P1 over P uh, dP, all right? And you could evaluate that integral, um, but I'll just leave it there for, for completeness. 
And when it comes to ideal gas heat capacities, whether I like in Smith Abbott of NS here in Appendix B, right, typically have polynomial expressions for those. Um, or if I were to go to Smith Abbott of NS, um, so no, that's Lee Kessler. Um, there, there, there as well. I think I just didn't, um, I just didn't scan them up because I skip. You know, here's Appendix E, here's Appendix B. Okay, but if you were to have, say, Smith Abbott of NS, you could look up these constant pressure uh, heat capacities as well. All right, and remember, the only reason for using Smith Abbott and Vaness, um, sorry, I can't find my cursor, the only reason for using uh, Smith Abbott and Vaness compared to our textbook for Lee Kessler is our textbook just has uh, plots, um, where Smith Abbott and Vaness has absolute, actually has tabulated values. All right, so now that we have all these uh, pro preliminaries out of the way, um, let's get to work. So in A, it says calculate the entropy of propane at its critical point. So calculate the entropy of propane at its critical point. The reference date is the ideal gas state at the critical point. Okay, so where this is unique is our actual state, which is the critical point, um, and the reference date, the reference date's an ideal gas at the critical point, right? But our um, two states are the same, right? So our um, actual state and our reference state are both referring to... Um, the critical point. So in A then, okay, the, the problem becomes a little easier. Okay, are we asking for entropy? Okay. So I don't need to go through the whole, you know, S1 minus S0 business um, because, you know, the two states are the same. Okay. But instead, you know, S, in my state of interest, S1, I can write S as the sum of residual plus ideal gas. Okay. Well, these all correspond to uh, properties at the, the critical point, and we're told that the ideal gas term at the critical point is, is zero. Okay. So here you just have S1 is S1R. Okay. And so again, we want to calculate the we're asked to calculate the entropy uh, of propane at its critical point, taken as a reference state ideal gas at the critical point, right? So what that tells us is S1 ideal gas, we're taking to be zero, right? That's how we're defining our, our zero. So to get A then, S1 would just be S1R. I just need to calculate the residual, residual entropy um, at the critical point, right? So I know T and P, uh, and actually, you know, I'd have a reduced temperature of one and a reduced pressure of one, okay? So, cool, okay? and Actually, just for completeness, since this point's easy enough to uh, to remember, all right. So if I look at, oh, that's C not. Look at my HR tables, right? Here's uh, reduced pressure of one, reduced temperature of one. I don't even need to interpolate, right? I can get HR not, okay? HR one, right? Reduced pressure of one, reduced temperature of one. Cool, all right? Got it. Okay. All right, B, calculate delta S of propane for an isothermal process that takes the substance from its critical point to pressure of um, one pascal. Okay, so, so let's think about uh, this process. Okay, so in B, okay, we're going to go from uh, T naught and P naught. Okay, and this just so happens to correspond to, you know, TC and PC. Okay, but I'm going to write as T naught and P naught. Okay, we're going to go to some final state T naught and P1. Okay, but what we're told is T naught and T1 are, are equal. All right, so I'm going to say, write that as, as T naught. Okay, it's an isothermal process. All right, so if this is state zero, and this is state one, okay, and okay, let me write this as T1 again, but remember T1 is just T naught, okay. Well, S1 minus S naught, okay, that's delta S, okay. I can write that as SR, S1R, okay, difference in my residual and ideal gas contributions.
Okay, it's bam. Okay, so um, and let me just write delta s since the problem you know says delta s. So delta s then would be s1 r minus s naught r. Okay, plus okay this ideal gas difference right integral from t naught to t1. CP ideal gas over T dt minus integral from P naught to P1 R over P dp. Okay, it's an isothermal process. Temperature and in our initial and final state are the same, right? T naught and T1 are the same. So that term is just zero. Okay, so we're left when then with delta S is equal to S1 R minus S naught R minus integral from p naught to p1 r over p dp. Okay, cool. Now in terms of state 1, uh, so this is at uh, t1 is equal to uh, tc, so we know the temperature, and then p1 is equal to, uh, what we say, 1 pascal, it's a small pressure. Uh, one pascal. Okay, but I know the temperature and pressure of um, state one are our target state, and S naught, right? T naught, T C, and uh, P naught is equal to to P C. Okay, so um, yeah, and and actually, in part A, we we technically calculated um, S naught R. Oh, so I was looking at the wrong tables. I take it back. <laughs> in in um, part one, oh, I was looking at these HR tables. All right, we need SR, okay? Um, and again, we need SR, SR um, divided by R is, is dimensionless, but, you know, you can find one one on there, okay? But anyways, um, yeah, so you do the same thing. You know, the um, you can calculate the produced coordinates for state one and state not. So you go to your the Kessler tables and calculate S1 residual and S not residual. Um, and then you just need this uh, second term uh, here. It's the ideal gas, change in ideal gas contribution for uh, change in, in pressure. Okay. But um, yeah, that's it for that's it for B. Okay. And then um, C a member of our engineering team objects that the reference state is not valid because the substance is not ideal at the critical point. Um, what is your response? Uh, the response is how you define your reference state doesn't matter. Um, all it is, is is how we're defining our zero. It could be a hypothetical state. Um, you know, it, it's fine. It's just used for calculation purposes. Okay. Um, so, you know, what's important or key is just once you uh, define a state, you know, reference state, you make clear what your reference state is and you stick with it. Okay. Um, and, you know, where you need to keep track of these things is since I have the appendix open, okay, um, okay, A, appendix B, okay, now steam tables, right? So the steam tables tells you that they're taking as a reference state saturated liquid at its uh, triple point, right? So they have a real fluid at its um, triple point. Okay. Um, so if you were to look up enthalpy, entropy, um, say, of, of steam from the steam tables, and, you know, here you're trying to mix with it, you know, propane, where you've defined your reference state to be an ideal gas at the critical point, um, now those are, are using two different zeros, and, and so there you need to keep track of things and, and start to be careful, okay? But, um, but yeah, that's it. Um, choice of reference state's arbitrary, uh, typically chosen for convenience. Uh, think about water in the steam tables. Triple points nice just because um, it's a well-defined state. So if I have a single component system at three-phase equilibria, which is the triple point, solid, liquid, uh, vapor coexistence, um, well, then that's just saying that's enough to pin down the state of my system. All right. And so uh, there's, it's completely, it's not uh, arbitrary what, whatsoever. Okay. Um, but yeah, hopefully then you can you can tackle problem eight.